Right, up next we have another G1 match for you. It's going to be the former PWF World Champion on top of B-Block, Aid Frodo, looking to get solidify himself at the top of B-Block. This is Aid Frodo versus Boogeyman. Boogeyman is still in that tournament to win that PWF World um, Streaming Championship after he beat uh, after he won and beat Joe Bacage this past Wednesday at Strongstyle. Here is Aid Frodo, the Messiah, self-proclaimed Messiah of PWF, ladies and gents. Boogie, <laughs> the creepy son of a bitch. Here he is, Boogeyman. This is going to be a great match. Has that devastating end of days finisher, but he also can take you out with that discus lariat you know the fans booing him there's we have no fan favorites in this match tonight but it is g1 so it doesn't matter it's all about three points aid frodo will be looking to uh stay at the top with a victory here in b block where boogie will obviously want to try and climb this a little bit more and let me just hook up the the table for you right now if i can actually get to it but good old uh As B block stands, Aid Frodo is on 12 points. Boogie's on six. So he would go up into joint second, second with Picard and Bob Mancat if he wins this. So it's all to play for. We are still a long way away from the end of the G1. The belt will be rung again. Here they go. They lock. Going to lock up. Oh, Boogie Man's looks. He's going to get the option. Early option is he lifts Aid Frodo up on his shoulders. The referee's getting in the way though. The referee's getting in the way, which gave Aid Frodo the advantage there a little bit. Oh, but no. No back and forth. Boogie escapes the grasps of Aid Frodo there. Went for Larry, but messed wildly with the back. Aid Frodo, they just no one seemed to be getting up in it, hand in this. Oh, it was, oh, nice little, oh, oh, big spine bear variation. Could be go for a cover, probably not going to get one, but you never know. Two, oh, kick out by Aid Frodo. Boogie's shaking his head a little bit. Don't know why you got a two count. I'd be surprised with a two count. Maybe that's a bit of a shot from Aid Frodo as he just mounts down over on top of uh, Boogie and drops a couple of right hands to the face and then a stomp for good measure just like here have a stomp as well stomp to the back he locks the arm to that canvas stamps on it that potentially could break an arm ladies and gents he's going to do it again two again is he going to go for a third one's a charm no he's going to try and choke out Boogie that is not a legal choke the referee should be probably looking at this but he's just watching on like he don't give none that is not the aid Frodo choke. Oh, went for a lariat, but great reversal on the kick by Boogie. But that second wasn't enough as Aid Frodo dodged that way and then a lariat to the back. Knife edge chops that Ric Flair would be proud of there, one after another. Irish whips Boogie into the ropes. Oh, back elbow takes down Boogie. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's going for that aid throw. No, it's not. It's going for a choke slam onto a bat, onto the knee backbreaker. I thought he was going for that choke, but he didn't. That's, that might be enough too. No, Boogie kicks out. Great matches as Boogie rolls. Like, aid throw is going to go meet him on the outside though. 20 count, remember, on that outside. So, that, no worries. Here we go. Oh, Boogie kick, manages to break free. Goes for it, swings wildly, but misses, but gets caught with that uppercut. Absolutely rocked. He's out on his feet. Then again by aid throw to What's he thinking? Oh, nice little headlock. Oh, headlock and then a punch drop. That was enough to drop Boogie to his feet. Uh, to his uh, knees, sorry. Oh, but Boogie managed to escape again. Irish whips. Throws Aid Frody back in to the ring. But Aid Frody is ready. Oh, I think he was thinking choke then, but Boogie managed to grab him in time. Boogie, though, can't get an upper hand here. Can't build that momentum. Big neck breaker. Big neck breaker with extra sauce on that. South. On that neck breaker, ladies and gents. I went for something, but Boogie dodged that way. Kicks to the leg. So strikes the leg. Keeps him weak. Oh, and then little knee strikes. What's he what's Boogie gonna do? Go for a suplex. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's like a kind of like a jackhammer var a jackhammer variation and suplex into a slam. Oh, the end of days! The end of days! Kind of out of nowhere there! This could be three points to Boogie! Two! No! A Frodo kicks out of the end of days, ladies and gents. Oh my lord. Oh, that discus lariat has won in matches in the past. He hasn't hooked the leg, though. One, two, might be his downfall. I would have hooked the leg. Always hook the leg, get that extra, like, pressure on, on, on the body so they can't kick out. Oh, the end of days for a second time on Aid Frodo. Holy crap. Boogie was, this was back and forth until Boogie just took over here. Two, no, Aid Frodo's kicked out again. Boogie cannot believe it. This is what it's about, though. Three points. They do not want to give up three points. Aid Frodo does not want to give up that top 
spot as Boogie's dropping a couple of kicks to the face. Kind of disrespectful, to be fair. And dropping a couple of hammer shots. And, ooh, that was a, I think that was an elbow to the finish it off. Boogie rolling out. I don't know why he's rolling out, but Afro rolled out the other side. Boogie's going to go and try and join him, maybe. Oh, he's going top right. What is Boogie doing? Going high risk here. Probably not a good idea. Oh, a big knee. Oh, my God. That will crush your, your like, chest area, the ribs. That was a knee drop right onto the ribs. And then a big spine buster. Big spine buster of Boogie. He's trying to finish off Afro. Oh, as he gets pushed away. Afro managed to run. Oh, big uppercut rocks. Boogie. Then a kick. DDT on that fin layer. Of padding to protect the concrete. I think Boogie may be busted open. As now, oh, those forearms just cross arms across the face of Boogie. I think you can't really tell with the face paint. Oh my shit. Stomps on the leg. Now, A Frodo is stomping on. Here we go. A Frodo taking charge now, maybe. Who knows? As. Oh, thrown into those steel steps. We're at seven. Remember, we do have 20 count, though. So no need to worry. Eight. They do need to get in the ring, though. Or it could end up being in a kind draw. Big front drop kick by Boogie. Like I said, we have got 20, so don't worry about that. But they may need to start worrying at some point. As that big spine buster by Boogie again. A throw back of the head. Slams on that concrete mat, ladies and gents. We're at eight. Oh, well, I think we're... No, we're past eight now. And we're ten. What is Boogie going on? Eleven. I saw capture. Oh, what? I don't even know what that maneuver was. Oh, my Lord. What a maneuver by Boogie. Absolutely dominating Afro now. But Afro duck, blocked that. Big upkeep, but Boogie blocks that. We're at 13. Throws him into the United table. 13. They do need to get in this ring, ladies and gents. 14. There we go. 14, they were getting close and very close. That would have been one point apiece if they got a draw. Big, oh, the big discus lariat. Oh, he got that. Took, nearly took aid, throw his head off. But he's not even finished. He could have probably won with that. Dropping some bombs. He might be pissed that he's been busted open as he goes to the top rope. Not like Boogie to go top rope a lot, but that big... Oh, it missed it, though. Missed that elbow. Knee strike. It could be enough, though. A is going to try and steal a victory. No, it's only a two. A Frodo would do anything to steal a victory there. What's he thinking? What's he got? Oh, no. Oh, is that Larry? No, it's not. I thought it was a neck breaker. That forearm shot to the back. He could have knocked Boogie out. This could be over. One. Two. No. He's not knocked out, but that was very brutal forearm shot to Boogie's back of his head. They are a dangerous shot to the back of their head, ladies and gentlemen. Big right hand from Aid Frodo. What's he got in mind? Big Broms. Drop kicks Boogie off the apron. Oh my lord, to that concrete floor, ladies and gents. Well, the thin layer, like we like to say all the time here in Peter F. A Frodo's going to throw him back in the ring. Maybe take control here. If he gets a victory here, it will probably be seen as a shot because Boogie has definitely been in charge here. Oh, big spine buster of his own from Aid Frodo. He's going top rope now. And this is not like Aid Frodo, really. Oh, went for a swanton, but Boogie got up. But I, I do not know what happened there. Some confusion of what happened there, but Boogie has now got Aid Frodo frozen into that turnbuckle. Holy crap, ladies and gents. As he slumps in the corner now, Boogie stopping a mud, mud hole. In a Frodo, what a match, what a G1 match. It's all about three points and that's what they want. As Boogie is dropping some right hands. Big Lariat takes down. Oh, a Frodo's back to his feet though. Oh, misses wildly as is though. Big back body drop by Boogie. We could be thinking a spine buster to finish it off. Boom, there he is. Spine buster finish it. Goes for a cover, could be enough. One, two. No aid Frodo kicks out. Boogie cannot believe it. The blood you can just see is trickling down his left, his right eye, I think. Sorry. I think he's thinking end of days. End of days. Oh no, what a reversal. What a reversal by aid Frodo. Used his weight. Went for a punch. Got caught though. Oh, this is. A Frodo hasn't even attempted that chokehold yet as he gets lifted up, but no, he rakes the face of Boogie. What's this? Oh. Spike! Oh no, it's a lariat to the face. I thought it was a Samoan spike then. Big right hands. What's this? Cobra clutch slam. Oh no, this is where he could end it though. With that 
Oh, that choke old. Will Boogie be able to escape? Not many do. No, he doesn't. A Frodo wins. This is a shock victory because Boogeyman dominated that match. But A Frodo just needed to lock that in and it was enough.